New technology, new tools. This is the first of five lessons on the Central Maintenance Computing System. The CMCS has critical maintenance information. It is important to know how to find this information. In this lesson, you will use the basic controls of the CMCS. And you will use the CMCS main menus to get access to the maintenance information. First, you will do an example where you use the CMCS controls. Go to the mat. This menu shows at Power Up. Show the CMCS main menu. Good. To become familiar with the CMCS controls, you will make sure you have the correct hardware part number for the engine data interface unit. Select the system configuration menu item under the line maintenance menu. This is an ATA selection dialog box. Use the information icon to learn more about the features of this display. Instructions are normally on the displays. Select the ATA Chapter 71 left engine. Use the scroll bar to show the ATA chapter that you need, then select it. This is the System Configuration dialog box. Do you have the correct hardware part number? Good. These buttons are typical of many CMCS displays. To see more about these buttons, you will try all of them. Select Report Data first. From this display, you can get a report of your data on three different output devices. Send this report to the printer. The transmission is complete. Return to the system configuration display. Next, go to the help information for this display. Your airline can supply customized help information for this display. Return to the system configuration display. Try the select new ATA button.
This shows the ATA selection dialog box again. Return to the system configuration display for ATA Chapter 71 for the left engine. Go Back returns you to the previous display. Select Go Back to complete this example. Notice the menu is available again. You have used some of the basic CMCS controls. These controls are typical on many of the displays. Next you will use the CMCS menus to find different types of information. The CMCS has five menus. You use each of the menus for a different purpose. First, look at the items under each menu. For this example, the items are not active. When you are done, you will use these to find different types of information. Now you will select menu items for different maintenance activities. You want to print a fault history summary report. What menu item do you need? This is the dialog box to print the fault summary report. Return to the main menu. The logbook from the last flight shows an FDE. Select the menu item you use to find the correlated maintenance message. This is the inbound flight deck effects display. It shows the FDE summary groups from the last flight. There is a fault from the last flight that is not correlated to a flight deck effect. Select the menu item to find the maintenance message for this fault. This is the present leg faults display. You can find non-correlated maintenance messages after the list of correlated maintenance messages. Select the menu item to access all the existing maintenance memos. This is the maintenance planning dialog box. From here, you can get access to the existing maintenance memos. Return to the main menu. Go back to the main menu. The Dispatch Deviation Guide states that you must disable the Anti-Skid Advisory message. What menu item should you use? You can use the CMCS to do several special functions. You must first select an ATA chapter to show a list of special functions. For now, return to the main menu. Now exit the CMCS. Great. You have used the CMCS controls and menus to find different types of maintenance information. Use this information as a tool to help you do maintenance on the airplane.